Neyland Stadium in Knoxville, one of the great venues in all of college football and home to the Tennessee Volunteers in this crowd. Knows that when the balls run through the tee, they are in for a show. Today, we have one of those games that tests your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Auburn Tigers, taking on the 15th ranked team in the land, the Tennessee Volunteers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the balls will kick it away to start us off. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. So the Auburn Tigers offense will start this game off. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. Well, good decision there by the QB. A little zone read action. He reads the defensive end, crashing down, keeps it himself. Gets a nice chunk of yards. And when you do that, you sort of get the drive going or keep it going, as the case may be. It's amazing in college football now how big of a part of each offense this zone read has become. So we're seeing more and more athletic quarterbacks on rosters now. That is a staple of this sport. They stripped it out. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Well, they were trying to go RPO. The quarterback decided not to hand it off, and the pass rush just swallowed it up. They got to him so quickly, knocked the ball out, and jumped him. down here for the offense. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. And the Volunteers want to move quickly. From the gun, the ground game. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. It's just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong, be big, be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make them feel you. Keep them off balance. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. the gun the inside kick and he's not going to make it the defense denying him the first down this offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle he is tough to block with one guy you might want to start double teaming him he's going to be a problem moving forward you saw all of his ability on that last play they're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out he's going to reach for a long one a 52 yard attempt didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal. You knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And he takes this from inside the five. And the returner will be brought down. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. And the fumble on that last drive could have been much worse, David. They, they bailed him out. They held him to a field goal, so that's the good news. Now this offense has to get it going. Forget about the fumble, Jesse. Move on, be positive. And they're upset with themselves, too. Uh, they're an offense that pride themselves on ball security. Let's see what they do right here. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. 
Looking to throw, it's Thorne. They're working that left side. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. They built this offense around finding mismatches and just get the ball to the back and let him do his thing. Yeah, it didn't have to be long down the field like it threw it right near the line of scrimmage. But you know I got a guy, when he gets in space, he can make big plays happen. Nice decision by the QB. Power football with the run. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. Off the play fake. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. Auburn going to work with another first down. Movement here from the tight end. From the gun. Give on the inside. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in. It's Lewis. And he goes down right there, but a solid pickup, and it'll be a first down. It's hard for an offense to win when you get in predictable situations. What a great job understanding where the first down marker is. Got to get a big game. Got to get that first down. Nice job. Great nose for the first down. And the Tigers will line it up on first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. That's a really good stop by the defense. Jesse, they need a few more. You've given them a bunch of yards on this drive and a bunch of plays, but all that matters is keeping them off the screen. Yeah, it's that bend, don't break mentality you're seeing right now, and this is the point where this defense has just got to lock in. To the air, it's Thorne. He finds his man. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Really nice job by quarterback and wide receiver. This is why you do film work. This is why you throw on air all offseason. I know I get zone coverage. I know exactly where I'm breaking. I know exactly where to deliver the football. Nice throw, nice catch. Down to the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. They move the tight end all over. Hand off from the shotgun. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the pass. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Big screen! Good throw and catch. Takes it down to the five as the offense tries to cash in. And when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. Auburn comes to the line with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Second and goal for the offense. They'll run it to the left here, looking for the goal line. He's got it down to the one-yard line, right on the doorstep of Pater. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. Third and goal, and they'll try to pass it in. And he's got it! Touchdown, Auburn! And 
third and goal, I'm giving it to my playmaker. You let your quarterback make this decision whether he wants to run it in or right here. He sees the opportunity. His guy's wide open. Hits him in stride for the easy touchdown. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll bring it out. It's Selden. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field. And, and listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker who is so important to this team. They'll put the tight end in motion. The give out of the gun. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. That's the end of the quarter, and Auburn has the lead. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. A third down play to get the quarter started. Looking to throw, it's Iamaleva. Unloads to the wideout. Got his man downfield. Really nice job there to pick up the first down and get it to their own 41. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Well, this defense knew coming in, they were going to see some RPO, and they were going to see some quick game. A nice job there taking the throw away from the quarterback. After misfiring, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Got his man on the right. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. And it seems like every time they throw it, it's first down time in Tennessee. First down time, and then let's go again. Let, let, let's throw it again. These offenses are not afraid to throw the football. When you've got a trigger man you trust, let it rip. The Vols want to crank the tempo. Keep up the, guard, half the running back takes his track off right tackle here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. What a great play by the linebacker. Do you talk about filling a hole? Defensive line does their jobs. He comes in the hole and says, sit down, sir. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Going to run it. It's Sampson. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Wants to throw. It's Imaleva. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. 
Well, it's a really nice job there on that third down, trying to get after this quarterback. And obviously, they're not able to make the play in the backfield, but really nice job pursuing. You see the athleticism and the speed they have, how they play as a unit together. Only giving up a little bit of a gain and now setting up fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And that punt will make its way into the end zone, and they'll put it in play from their own 20. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Give to the running back. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense on the After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. There's just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. As a result, they lose yardage. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. They stopped him after a short game. Probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of the stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He'll bring it back. It's white. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. From the gun, the running back has it. At the 35, he's loose. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Busting big runs like this is a total team effort. Obviously, the back has to find the hole, but you got to have everybody around them doing their job to make it a good play call. And everybody around them doesn't just mean the offensive line. The receivers getting their blocks downfield is a big deal, too. It's a huge deal. We always talk about them catching passes, but blocking is so important for their responsibility. <laughs> The Volunteers come to the line in the hurry up. The run from the shotgun. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down. And the Vols will try to punch it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to find his way to the goal line. And he'll glide his way in for the score. Touchdown, Tennessee! And this running back is so dangerous down close to the end zone. He's got wiggle, he's got great vision and burst. And show all of those attributes right there. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the capper on that drive, the 10-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. 
one. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. We just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Here comes the offense on second down. On the move, it's Thorne. Got his man quickly. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Throw him to the spot, and that's exactly what he did to pick up the first down. And that's so many hours of doing this together. You know exactly when he's going to break on that out route. You know what kind of speed he has because you've thrown it so many times. Nice rhythm and timing. And you could tell that was experience between receiver and quarterback. He's going to pass. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. Big first down sack for the defense, brings up second down. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. They bring him down with a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Caught in the backfield, it's Hunter. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up the decision for this coach. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll make some adjustments. Auburn sends out the punting unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Here comes the offense on first down. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Get this! Finds his man. It's Samson. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves open. Second and one, and they're going to make him line up to defend the pass. Four wideouts, two on either side. To the air, it's Iamaleva. Fires on the run. Grabs it at the 25 in stride. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, ball! Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question for the quarterback this morning. Nice job. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Now last drive didn't take long, just two plays to get it in. And the score comes with a quick strike up top, covering 79 yards. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. On the move from inside is five. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. First down for the offense. The give to the back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine.
We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, a delightful start to things in Knoxville here today. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas amidst the smoggy smoke there in Rocky Top. Turner will field it and try to do some business. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. Trying to set the tone with the run. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. And the Volunteers are in the hurry up. They feed him again. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. short they've got them back up inside the 20 and the D can get the ball back here on the ground it's Sampson past the first down marker and still running and he converts on third down as he gets it out to the 26 and they just kind of sneak that one in there as a defensive guy third and five plus I'm thinking pass they were thinking pass Palmer and they slipped the run in and it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. From the gun, running back gets to give. Get him on the ground after a four-yard run out to the 31. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. He leaves it with his back. Nice move to pick up yardage. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. The Vols are moving quickly down the field. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You've really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out more space. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Scanning the field, it's Iamaleva. Quickly complete. No chance to run, but they still move it forward. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times they'll dance and make even bigger plays than they did here, but it was still a positive game. They'll try to snap it quickly. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, this defense obviously knows they have to be able to stop the run now in the second half if they're going to win this game. And you wonder if they were able to make some tweaks and some adjustments at halftime, maybe getting some more bodies close to the line of scrimmage to give themselves a chance to come back in this game. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. 
Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. They go to the draw. Just a pickup of a couple out to the 15-yard line. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. Looking for room, it's Hunter. That hole closed quickly, a pickup of one to the 15. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. To the air, it's Thorne. A strike downfield. Really nice job to get it past the sticks. Pick up the first down at the 30. They flexed out that tight end a little bit, and you know the tight end's always open. Always open. Quarterback's best friend. And this guy's a problem, Reese. He's a matchup problem because he's too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. He's showing you his athleticism better. He'll do it himself. He goes out of bounds after a solid gain on the play. Man, these read options are so hard to diagnose, just like right there. He picks up a little chunk of yards, not a big chunk. It's so easy when you run the read options. Why is that? Why is it easy? Because if you want to play fast to the football, well, then fine, I'm going to pull the ball right now and to use your aggressiveness against you. But if you want to sit back, then fine, I'm going to give the ball right now and, and get a little chunk of yards. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. Yeah, just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip it forward, let your receiver do the rest. I only got to get a few yards. Nice job, nice execution. First down. The Tigers in the hurry up. They'll throw it on first down. Can't hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, he'll fire. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. You know, it's so important for corners to be able to transition, right? You gotta have real loose hips. You gotta be able to change direction on a dime. And in zone coverage, when you see the ball thrown, you can break on it and force incompletions like that. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Fires to the wideout. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Looking for a block. It's White. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. The volunteer offense is back, and they hope it's touchdown time in Tennessee. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Second down coming up. Back to the ground game on the left. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And they tried to run that sweep out right. I like going to the wide side of the field, getting somebody the ball that can really, really run.
Just got to block it up a little better. Give him a chance to at least get that edge. And then he might be able to do some more damage. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. They get him up. Rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. When you got third and this long, everybody knows what's coming. It's going to be a pass. Defensive linemen get to tee off. They know exactly what's coming. Go get the quarterback. It is your dream. That is what you live for. It's what you practice in the offseason for. I want sacks just like that. The Volunteers will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Running it back, it's Scott. He's got great speed. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. He's going for it all. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. That's the end of the quarter, and Tennessee has the lead. Three quarters are in the book. Time becomes a factor both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. This offense just gets a bolt of energy when they get a play like that. Now they're in the red zone, first and 10 from the 20. Great move there. He was working his way toward that goal line. They'll stop him at the two after the big play up top. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. First and goal and a touchdown here really gives them momentum. They'll try to run it in. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range. you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. And they'll try to bite a chunk out of this lead on third and goal. shifted before it certainly has now it has and now you got some game pressure right that's beautiful now the defense comes out get you a stop get aggressive but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side they could lose this ball game to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they close it to a 17-14 game. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Tennessee ready to go to work the big orange offense on the field. From the shotgun, the inside give. And they pick up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. That's exactly the start you want when you're on offense. In this situation, four-minute offense, I'm not worried about scoring. I'm not worried about getting a bunch of first downs. I need two. I need two first downs, and I'm going to let that clock tick, and I walk out of here with a dunk. Using his legs, it's Sampson. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. 
It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. It's caught. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Such a tough spot to be in on defense because you're trailing. You're expecting the offense to run the football. They just did it on the last play, and then on a critical third down, they go play action, and they throw it over your head. you got to feel for this defense. And the balls will hustle to the line. From the gun, running back on the move. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. This guy's been running hard all game long in the fourth quarter. Now with that last run, he's now at 99 yards rushing. One more carry away from potentially reaching that 100-yard milestone that all running backs covet. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. He'll pull it on the read. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Here they come on third down, and the defense has had no answer so far. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. Well, I think this running back has proved in this game here tonight that he can be counted on and relied on, right? And a big moment right here, late in the game, when they need to run the ball to ice this thing, he's able to deliver. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. On the ground trying to pull the plug on this clock and they'll stop him just short of the first down just inches away from moving the sticks and this guy really has been a workhorse today he's made plays when his offense needed them the most he's a guy who's reliable they know they can turn around give him the football and he'll go make things work out they're gonna need him to finish this game he has to continue playing well after that big run there They'll run play action. Looking for the score. Had it in his hands for the score and let it fall to the turf. It'll be third down. Perfect timing. Got there right when the ball got there. Didn't get there a little bit early. Saving the touchdown. Nice timing by that defender. Third and inches coming. Maybe the biggest play of the game. They'll try to run for it. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. Now, I love when players understand situations, and they understand where the first down marker is, and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Here's the handoff. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. And that's really nice offensively because you're in the red zone. You do have an opportunity to add to your lead here, but you're staying in bounds. I think the clock right now is the most important thing. How can we keep this thing ticking away? By going down in bounds, you're doing exactly that. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot.
That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. He wants to start this drive with a pass. That's caught, it's Burton. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. You just get the feeling this defense is gonna make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead, it's late, and they're gonna to try to tackle everybody in bounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. You gotta attack the sidelines. You gotta throw first down. You gotta keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Hunter. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's in completion, they lost yardage. And this defense is all over the quick game right now. They're up in possession, and they're tackling, and they're pursuing the football. Nice play on that one. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. Dropping back, it's Thorne. He wants a big play here late. A beautifully placed ball to the outside, and the toe drag for the big pickup. Man, this quarterback is going to have to be deadly accurate here in this two-minute situation, right? And that's really what he's had to be all game long. He hasn't had a lot of yards because the coverage has just been so tight. He's had to be pinpoint perfect. It's been hard just to find completions, no doubt. That's going to be the same thing here in this two-minute drive. He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. Brings up second down. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. He's going to pass on second down. Quick strike complete. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And these quarterbacks have to really trust their wide receivers that they're going to be disciplined and run to the right route when they're throwing that ball to the outside like that because those corners are sitting there on the inside. The worst thing that could happen is to miss inside and that quarterback can go in the other direction. Getting some heat. Throws to the wideout. It's caught downfield. The offense takes a timeout with 30 seconds left. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good. So efficient. Such a good route runner. Got the speed. Got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him. And especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not over quick underneath, you find him, he'll make those contested catches. Well, you can tell those two have been practicing the out route all offseason long. They look like they could have completed that in their sleep. Auburn lines up quickly. He spikes it, clock stops as they try to rally late. To the air, it's Thorne coming after it. Deep shot for the end zone. Oh, he got a hand on it and knocked it away. Incomplete, and the game is over. 